this one guy, he's got the best voice, like, for a guy. He kind of reminds me a bit, a bit of Justin. And, yeah, I took him to the studio one time in, um, oh, where was it? Anyway, I took him to one studio in London. And I was like, you know what, you're coming to the studio with me because you, obviously I do my own recordings now, but this was when I used to go to a studio and let other people record my tunes for me. But I took him there yeah. and he was, oh man, his voice, his vocals were just so powerful. The recording was just so clean and good. And, and yeah. I, don't know if, I don't know if you want to perform for, like, I don't know if you want to perform on the show, like, you know, yeah, of course. Yeah, anything. of course. We could even do our, our new song. Yeah, yeah, we could. Um, I'd love to do that on the show. Um, I'd love to do a live performance of something. Yeah. You know? Obviously, I know yeah. I've only got the, a verse on it, and it's mainly your. It's all what is your song, but well, obviously, um... I, could, I could make your verse a little bit longer if you'd like to. Or we can do something else as well. Yeah, we could, do, um, we could do one of your songs and I'd write, write a verse for that if, if it comes to it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've got another song that I need to collab with um, and I'll send you that if you if you like. Um, it's called Powder and that's more like a rap song. What's that called? It's called Powder. Powder? What was what made you... What was your, what was your inspiration um, for that song? <laughs> well... I was writing it about um, summer that I've been through before. It's not drugs okay. or like that. Oh like, no! A lot of people say oh, powder drugs. <laughs> um, it's yeah, well, that's probably like, why they'd like it because the whole world like, likes all that. Been, you, it's like you've been through a, a rough patch and hmm. you're dusting them off like powder. If you get what I mean, like it's, that's like the verse. Like I'll dust you off like powder, like. You know, oh, like, like I'll brush you of, off, like kind of like, brush off like, the shoulders. Like you get, you get, you're getting rid of somebody like who's done bad to you. Or toxic has happened to you. Yeah, toxic. Yeah, it does sound a bit like toxic, but it's not toxic. Okay. Like it's not Britney Spears, but it's more like hmm. my Britney Spears type of song. Mm, that sounds but good. It's it's interesting. It's the, yeah, I think it's the first song where I get to be a lot badass. Like the music video is going to be a lot evilness yeah yeah it's gonna be toxic well that sounds good so yeah and yeah if you want to you if you want to collab you can um but yeah yeah but there's no there's no blank bits sadly like i i want like you to cover a part of my song like the rap part if you can do Mm -hmm. that because i've actually rapped in the song, so I just want. Like, you, oh, you rapped to, on it as well. Yeah, I just want oh, somebody to. I can't rap, wait to hear that. <laughs> rap it, rap in the song for me. Like I don't think I'm. Oh rap, yeah, I don't yeah. think I'm people to hear me rap yet, because I'm more of a singer than a rapper. To be of honest, of course. But, yeah, and that's that's what you're amazing. You're amazing at it. So, and, and maybe we could, you know, collab on the chorus. Like maybe us two might like, sing together. Mm. In the chorus. Can... Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah why not? <laughs> um, that sounds great. Yeah. So and when I'll are you going to be? Song. Sorry, go on. And I'll send you the song later on. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah. So when yeah. are you going to be um, doing these auditions for people for sing? Um, I'm. I thinking about doing it some point next week. Um, and then. Okay. You know, letting the show be a lot longer than you know just three days. Like, I want it to be like, you know, like a weekend show. To be honest, like, you know, like yeah, Factor, like I want it to be bigger than the X Factor. To be honest, because the X yeah, X Factor's, like gone downhill, and the voice is just getting on my mind. Like, oh, can't stand the voice. <laughs> don't you like it? I don't. I'm not really too keen on Anne Marie. To be honest, um, <laughs> why don't you like Anne Marie? <laughs> like. I loved Megan Trainor. She was my gang. Like she was my girl, to be honest. Yeah. She was. But Anne Marie's yeah. all right though. She's she can sing. Yeah, yeah, she can yeah, sing. Yeah, yeah, she can. Um, she can sing. Yeah, she can. So. And yeah, I think with yeah. Anne Marie, they were just um, when they signed her. I think they were just looking for like you know the the average girl next door. You know that kind of look. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. So she, a lot of the world can relate to that because they like the the that kind of. Like to be honest, I do like some of her songs. I do like Ciao Adios and she mm. too. I like okay. friends. Like um, yeah, that's a good one. I know it sounds um, mad, but I haven't I haven't listened to Anne Marie's songs. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh my gosh, I've heard of her. I've heard of her. No, I haven't. But I've heard her on the radio and stuff. And sh- and obviously, as a person, I mean, I'm I'm not a hater, so I wouldn't be able to say, oh yeah, this that. Well, but yeah, she I'm not she hater, does. I no, I know. It. She just does seem she can sing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just haven't been out and bought any of her tunes. If do, yeah. do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, probably sounds yeah. mad, but it's not really my type of yeah. Um, so preference, who, who's but... your favourite singer at the moment then have you got a favourite artist out there um, oh my god oh gosh putting me on the spot Ellie <laughs> <laughs> I like lately I don't know why but I kind of get on with Justin and Hayley because obviously I've got Justin on my Facebook and stuff and he's so humble he'll talk to talk to people and he doesn't like just oh you're you're another singer I'm not going to speak to you I can only like you can only talk to me if you're a believer or whatever but Justin's cool man like Justin is so cool he's so humble and he's actually suffered with depression like me so I can get on with him I can relate to him and stuff yeah so I like Justin's music um and then obviously I like rap as well so I like um Little Mosey um, yeah. I like a lot of the Americans. <laughs> For some reason, they show me the most love. So Nicki Minaj, you know, Cardi B, you know. You know, I like both Nicki and Cardi, even though they don't I like each other. Too, yeah. <laughs> I know that they don't like each other. And like, if you say, "Oh, you like, oh God, why are you on Team Cardi and Nicki? Like, you should only be on one side." Like, people always say mm. that. No, I, I, I mean, I, I hear you. I, I just like them both, Ellie. <laughs> I don't think I they like sound the same at all. Like, no, they're not nothing the same. Do, like, you're stealing each other's personality. No, no, no. And I'm no, like, no, no. <laughs> Nikki's got her side, and then Cardi's got her side, you know, like, yeah. Cardi's Cardi, is. and Nikki's Nikki. Yeah, and exactly. They both like the same genre, but that doesn't mean they're similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, you might hate me for this. Um, my favourite singers at the moment, um, Little Mix, um, Demi Lovato. Okay. And this, and this is the one that you're going to hate me for, Selena Gomez. <laughs> Why would I hate you for Selena? Selena's cool and Little Mix are cool. I mean... She's, she's just in Bieber's <laughs> ex, isn't she? It, yeah, but, I mean, we all but love I Selena. Thought, thought, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to hate Justin Bieber, for, like, to be honest, because... I always thought, oh, Justin cheated on Selena. <laughs> I, no. I used, every time I saw him on the tell, I was like, you cheat, you cheat. <laughs> oh, no, um, do you know what I think? Now, now I'm like, now I'm okay, <laughs> to be honest. I'm okay, like, I'm just... Like, Selena's got her um, amazing sides and hayley has got her amazing sides as well. So, obviously, Hayley's more of a fashionist like me, but then Selena's more of, she likes the music and stuff. So they're again, they're completely two different people, you know. And Justin, and I, I think he still gets on with Miley her. Cyrus. I love Miley Cyrus and Ariana. Oh, Grande. you like Miley? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's oh. my inspiration for music. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've always looked up to her when she was like in Hannah Montana and stuff. Oh yeah, because Hannah Montana she... was like all over the TV. Do you remember, like years yeah. and years ago? And it. Um, do you know what you two are spot on you know and one of my best mates danny she'd always be like team cardi team cardi she'd be like yeah fuck nikki and i just to be like what's wrong with you we've been listening to Nicki minaj for years like and loving mm. it <laughs> do you know what i mean um anyways i hope you're having a lovely uh day ladies uh i had a long lie in today so i'm still in bed Probably because I've got some Ariana Grande bed sheets that I only put on yesterday. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, I love it. And now my husky is trying to like pester me to get up. But I like your chat topic. I'm going to give you both a follow. 
And uh, Thank you. yeah, enjoy the rest of your life. I am actually Team Nikki. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've, got some, we've got somebody, you know, picking sides. I don't pick sides. I just listen to both, you know. I, I oh, is, was it Jess? What was her name? Jessie the Gothis? Sorry, I didn't quite catch the name again. Um, what was her name, Ellie? I don't know. I didn't see her name. Anyway. Can't get out to now. you that's just um given us that voice message yeah we're, i'm good and yeah that's good that you're team nikki that's good but i do yeah, i mean I'm get to team. know cardi man get to know cardi as well because i even think nikki got to know cardi and she actually gets on with her now i think i, I read... think they did make a song together as well yeah because i read something on facebook and i think that they're that's all squash now to be honest. Well, I, I even know that there was some beef between um, Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj. Um, I don't know why. I think it was like um, that's I mad. Think, what's that saying now? Miley, what's good or whatever? Um, <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's the famous saying. What she said to Miley. That's yeah. all mad. <laughs> that's madder than mad. Yeah, but um, but you know, c- celebs do their own stuff nowadays, don't they? Yeah, I mean, like, it's real life for us all, isn't it? And we just have to, I mean, obviously, there's always going to be someone that looks at you as a threat or might look at you as think that, see you as some yeah. sort of competition to them or, but really, yeah. they shouldn't feel like that because yeah. we are all this, we are all the same. We're all different and yeah. we've, you know, it's good to come together and and yeah. get on 2020. Like yeah. Diddy says, it's the year of love. Yeah. Like Ava Max um, has had criticism, like saying, um, "Oh, you look like Lady Gaga. You're, you're making same type of music as her." No, you do when not. I her, when I look at her, I see, you know, Ava. La- I don't la- see Lady Gaga. Gaga. <laughs> yeah, you know. When I look at her, I see Lady Gaga. I don't see anyone else. And when yeah. I look at you, I see Ellie. I don't see. I don't see anyone else. Yeah, that's yeah. mad. Got another and voice plus, message. But I'm being silly. I listen to both artists. I listen to them both. Like the songs I like particularly by them both, okay. if you get what I mean. So I listen to those songs. I jam with them songs still. Um, but like, what was I going to say? They both got completely different energy. Nikki's yeah. more yeah, business yeah. minded driven. She was d- determined to get established, to get focused, to be heard, to use her voice, to have success, yeah. to have wealth, mm. to be top dog at her craft, her game. But it all comes down to business. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Cardi, Nikki's attitude is literally attitude. Whereas Cardi's attitude is passion. Mm. I'm going to say that because it's the truth. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Anyways. I think both of them have got good qualities and I like how their dynamics are very different. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's right, man. She's right. Oh. Do you have a favourite Cardi? She's right. um, with Cardi, it's like... <clears throat> I don't know if I was speaking to Cardi or not on Messenger because there's a lot of trolls, but it seemed like it was Cardi. And she comes across as really cool, man. <laughs> I don't know, I can't explain yeah. it in another way, but like she comes across like she's just about her music. She didn't try and hate on me or try and say some mm. shit she shouldn't have said, excuse my French, but she did like Cardi's cool, same as Nikki. I've never really spoken to Nikki, but obviously since hearing yeah. her on your tune, I like it. Yeah. I love the tune. I think it's cool. I really like um, it. I've got a favourite Cardi B song. Um, I like I like it. Um, that one's a good one. Um, with J Balvin and stuff. Um, and then I like okay. A, um, my favourite Nicki Minaj song. Um, is Arakanda. <laughs> like, yeah, I like that. Yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, that one's good. Like, and Nicki's yeah. cool because she sings, raps as well. So she's quite versatile. Yeah, yeah, like like me and you, she can go on any beat yeah. you know she likes the pop she likes the r&b she likes the hip-hop yeah yeah like play a beat to nikki and she's on it cardi b yeah. uses her rawness her reflex her 
her energy reflex to carry her through her music. And if you two are musicians, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about as well. Um, yeah. But the thing is, um, Nikki, it was all about... With Nikki, it's all ego. It's ego games and it's her... She's a uh, performer in the sense of she's created dynamics to express. So we've got well. Roman, yeah. Roman Holiday. We've got all these different outlets that Nikki has created to express those particular songs through, yeah? yeah. Whereas Cardi yeah. will come up straight raw, like looking crazy. Whereas Nikki will do the I'm crazy act. Does this make sense? They're mm. very, very intelligent women. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and did very... you see um did you see Cardi on the um talent show where she was judging um oh, I can't remember what it's called on it was on Netflix. Anyway, uh, Cardi no. Cardi was cool, man. She's got swag, like she's she's yeah. cool. I liked her, I liked the, the way she was dressing. She like took saying, her wigs Ariana off Ariana now. Is mm. It's just like Ariana Grande is copying Mariah Carey because, to be honest, I do see some familiar stuff between them. Um, is it? I've in, not seen that. Like, like, you know when they like sing on high notes, you're like, I'm sure I heard that in like a Mariah Carey song, you know, like you get that feeling like you've heard it before, you've seen it before. Yeah. And even though you're wrong, like that's their, like Ariana Grande is Ariana Grande. Mariah Carey is Mariah Carey. They're not copying off each other. Yeah. They're, like, they look up to them like I and I know. That. Yeah, and I know it sounds mad, Ellie, but sometimes the uh, music industry, what they do is they play similar mm -hmm. artists to sound the same. Like, they want, like, because when Rihanna first came out, there was another artist that came out straight after Rihanna, and she sounded just like Rihanna. <clears throat> it's that deep, I can't even remember this artist's name. But no yeah. one really cared because it was like it blended in with, with the playlist. Like it just yeah. blended. It, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is just on a different level. Like, but right, um, it blended in with the playlist. So the yeah. DJs were playing it. Do, do you know like that? So it was. Yeah. It was mad. What Ariana Grande can do with her voice is a cross between Minnie Rippleton, a, a <laughs> dose of Mariah. <laughs> A little so, bit of every woman that's made a mark on soul music, probably, <laughs> just wrapped yeah. up in one with a mix of this oh. little, adorable, expressive Cancerian girl with these vocal skills. Ariana Grande has reincarnated some vocal notes. I'm certain that that lady has reincarnated yeah. some no, notes that yeah, she hits he, because I haven't right. heard those notes get hit for such a long time. Wow. <laughs> um, what I like is about her latest album is the fact that it really shows off her vocal range. Her music right. does in this album. Ariana has just sort of like last done a debut on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keen on the new Ariana Grande album because it was like I've heard loads of people say, "Oh, it's about sex." She's singing about sex, like that new song that she's just released. Mm. Um, she's like singing "Fuck Me to the Daylight." Like I'm like, "Whoa, what?" Like yeah. I thought, she was like, not I thought she was singing about herself and all that, look, but instead she's singing about sex and stuff. Yeah, like, no, I, I hear you. Know, like. I'd rather listen to like Little Mix because they're cool. Like, but they say people say, "Oh, they're copying off Spice Girls. They're copying off Girls Loud." No, I just think no, 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 being no. The girls, you know. Like, yeah, and, and like with a girl group, it's difficult as well because, like, in the past, we've had so many girl groups. Like, there was Girls Aloud, there was the Sugar Babes, there was, um, and there was a gap for Little Mix. Do you understand in the industry? So, um. But can I just tell you all that there is one great group as well also that's that Ellie's just spotted on her sing uh, mm. sing auditions and these these girls they they've actually just got through to the semi-finals on the WhatsApp auditions. Oh my god, they're so cool as well. It's going on YouTube as well, guys. Um